Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays, The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Last run. <laughs> I don't know how to feel about it. Guppy's head, juicy sack. That's pretty okay. Spiders and flies, yours and mine, baby. KT9Z, one mic. What do you think? I can see forever. That's a pretty solid starting pill. Pretty thrilled to have a big room right off the bat. Oh, that's nice, man. Big rooms on the first floor. I don't know why I'm in such a snarky mood, but big moods on the or big big moods on the first floor. Yeah, man, I don't disagree with that. Big rooms on the first floor are just always uh, glorious. Starting items. Ooh, that was very dumb. Starting items above average, uh, definitely. Probably like top 80 percentile or so. What do you? How does that work? You say top 80 percentile or top 20 percentile? I don't know. But um, starting stats. I'm really happy to have the spirit hearts. Let's put it that way. Uh, rate of fire seems maybe a little bit below average. Damage seems probably about average. Of course, these are just approximations, but, uh, you know, I don't think anybody's running the numbers and they're going to be too pissed if I accidentally get something wrong there. It looks like we will be able to just walk into Isaac's room here. And it's a dirty room, but someone's got to do it. Can you not sleep in it on the first floor? Maybe you just can't sleep in it because it's so dirty anyway. Make your bed, you... Freaking savage. Uh, that's going to be our second room there. This guy's probably one hit away, which is why I wanted to be a little cautious and then just immediately almost walked on the creep. But we got a health upgrade and then immediately uh, managed to fill it up. So this is actually looking like a pretty, uh, pretty solid start to begin with here. Especially considering we're on the basement. We got a lot of good uh, potential to swing for the fences on this run, I think. We actually just one-shot a dip, so I think we're in a really good position damage-wise, maybe more so than I originally anticipated. Where's our item room? Am I crazy? Where did our item room go? I could have sworn that you're supposed to have one on this floor. Let's fight our boss first, and then we'll see what's up with that. This is a really great opportunity to pick up another Spirit Heart and a few extra consumables as well. And we'll be going up against the Duke of Flies, and one bomb is... Oh, come on. One extra bomb makes the Duke of Flies very, very easy. Takes care of our crowd control issue, and if we could actually just get a uh, friendly spider, you, you're probably at the point where you could do fatal damage to Duke of Flies if you could just get over there. But uh, oh no, now just in time. Okay, that's fine too. Hello, consider it. We're gonna be at three HP, and three HP with these stats. I'm not gonna necessarily suggest that it's a recipe for victory, but it's a very, very good position. Thought about taking... Where the heck is it? Did I already go to our item room? Like, am I losing my mind here? Um, oh, we didn't go to the right up here. Yeah. Uh, I'm not going to go out on a limb and say that it's a one run yet, but it's a very good position. That's obviously terrible. Uh, Butter being potentially the worst item in the game. But hey, we got a black card out of it anyway, so we can almost picture like we got matchbook here, in a way, just with no bombs, which is actually kind of unfortunate because I could use some bombs. I'm going to try the shop. I wanted to see if there was something half price, like a half price bomb that I could pick up. I would have been really excited about, but uh, without a half price bomb, I guess we're just gonna go. Actually, that's not fair. We could shoot this. I am very displeased by the fact that our rate of fire is god awful. And I'm very much hoping that we can uh, pick up like a single penny or two pennies. Usually the fire, I think, pays out a little bit less often than the poop, so I would be lucky if I got one coin drop here, but. I would take it, man. And this is... This is my penance for having cared so much about Boss Rush. Now I'm uh, slowing down so much on the first floor that Boss Rush is already almost out of the question. We'll see, though. This is an exceptionally good start. You know, we, we've had better, but uh, we've certainly had worse as well. Thought maybe we might get a bomb out of him. It's okay. There's something to be said for taking the tick, honestly, but... I'm, I like my flexibility in the trinket game. You never know if maybe we'll get like a cancer trinket or something later, which would really alleviate our principal concern, which is a lack of rate of fire right now. Curse of the Lost again. Huge fan. Uh, you know, my least favorite curse is whatever curse we have at any given moment. So I don't really feel comfortable saying the Curse of the Lost is necessarily my least favorite curse. But I do hate it. Isn't that enough? I also hate this room. Uh, without... Absurd damage, piercing shots, or incredible rate of fire. We're going to be stuck here 
for quite some time, taking the occasional pot shot at these enemies who take way too much H or way too much damage uh, before dying, and who also spawn enemies. Come on, though, dog. One bomb. One bomb would have saved me so much trouble. Oh, stop spawning creep, you asshole. We've already got like 40 advantages here. Lock up. I'll, I'll, I'll accept it. I'm happy about it. This room, man. We made it through, though. And we picked up a couple of bombs. Very happy about it. Pretty fly as well. I mean, the, wor the, the room was very much worth it. It was just a little annoying in the process. It's okay. This curse room. I'm feeling a guppy item. Just something about it says guppy to me. Told ya! It didn't work out. And sometimes, you know, I definitely subscribe to the belief that if you just shout what you want loud enough at the right moment, it's more likely to come true. That's absolutely untrue. If I'm in a restaurant and, like, I, I could be like, hey, I'll have the uh, turkey sandwich, please. They could come out with, like, a plate of spaghetti, and I'd be like, well, I guess the universe wants me to have spaghetti today. Ryan, you should really, like, talk to a waitress. Like, that's really bad service. Uh, you know, they got a tough day, man. They've had a tough day. Who am I? I'm still getting food. I'm still eating. It could be worse. Yeah, I don't really like spaghetti. I know that makes me a, the, the bad guy in this situation because of my lack of uh, appreciation for spaghetti-based pastas, but you get the you get the idea. Now, if I could just kill Pin here. We're not going to lose our deal with the devil chance. So I would really love two guppy items on our deal with the devil. Experimental treatment I will take after we get our deal with the devil here. Wow, that's real bad. Please don't lower my rate of fire. I'll never forgive you or myself. Rate of fire seems about the same. We gained HP. Eh, we'll see. One bomb for four cents is a relatively uh, good trade. If we have a surplus of bombs and a shortage of money, that is. We still have our item room and shop uh, here. I probably won't make too much of an effort to go to the shop. Financially, we're not in that great of a position, and do we really want to invest money into a deal with the devil that's probably not going to happen on the next floor anyway? Teleport is not worth it. I think we're just going to leave here. We've been to all the special rooms, and uh, at least all the special rooms that we know. And we got uh, no other impetus to stay here, so I think we'll just head down to the next floor, and we'll hope for a deal with the devil, but again, our odds come down to 25%, plus a little bit more if we can blow up a beggar or pick up pentagram or something like that. Catacombs XL, um... Things are starting to stack against us a little bit. We've had a couple of bad dice rolls in a row here, but we started very strong, and I think that momentum is going to you know, be able to carry us decently far here. This floor shouldn't be too much of a problem. Principal concern is going to be uh, getting enough keys to get inside of those item rooms, of course, and then also just, uh, just keeping ourselves healthy here, you know, making sure that we have uh, the spirit hearts necessary to protect our red hearts and... Give us the best chance possible of getting a deal, if we can get one at least. And I'm really glad we saved five cents, because we actually have a, a chance to spawn an arcade. Ooh, that was very dangerous. And uh, spawning an arcade could give us the money necessary to... Oh, I, I didn't realize I put one down already. That's okay, we blew up the mushroom. It wasn't totally bad, but it was pretty bad. Ten extra bombs, not really what I'm looking for here, but... Um, yeah, if we spawn an arcade, the extra money could be super helpful... ...towards actually getting something from our shop. Maybe even getting, you know, more keys and more bombs to allow us to access all those rooms that we would consider important to begin with. Spiders are really, really helpful right now. Really helping out. This floor's gone well so far. Not ashamed to admit that uh, we've gotten a little lucky. But also playing reasonably well. And it's really, it's coming down to Guppy's head, man. Guppy's head and Juicy Sack. If they can let us get into that shop and pick up uh, Hive Mind, immediately our principal damage dealers become so much better. Scary room, very scary room that I often take damage on, and uh, the same was true there, but that's okay. Honestly, I would have expected to have taken more damage on this floor by this point. Oh, what the heck? There was creep there? That one. I'll, I'll take ownership of that one. And we did pick up another key, so that could be our, um, our shop, but with only 10 cents to our name right now... That's more of an item room play, as far as I'm concerned right now, but 
There's not necessarily an objectively correct answer for that without knowing what's in each. And now we can definitely go to our shop, but we might actually want to open one golden chest first just to see if we get more keys or more money to actually get into our shop. Like this one, for example, and we traded one bomb and a key for... Like, oh, there's another bomb back there. I missed. We traded one bomb and a key for like three keys and three bombs. So, like, just a net gain of two each, which actually could be extremely meaningful here for us. Let's go to our shop right away. I mean, we could blow up our donation machine. We've been really good about our donation machine lately, and it's been good to us. Our speed could definitely use some work. We're in a, a bad state there. Honestly, that turned out fairly well, okay, as well. Um, starter deck, sure, I'll buy starter deck. It's not quite the hive mind uh, pickup that I was looking for, but it does give us a tarot card. Our tarot card is card against humanity. I think that's pretty terrible. Unless we have petrified poop, uh, which we don't. But we do have another key. We can use that for, for good purposes. For now, uh, let's try to avoid the big room as long as possible in the hopes of getting to our item room. And if we can get to our item room and pick up something useful, then that big room probably won't be as heinous as I'm presently thinking that it's going to be. Red chest, red chest, red... I'll try it. Okay, infamy and some money. Was it worth two keys for infamy and some money? Yes, assuming we can get into our item room later anyway. If, if we can't get into our item room later anyway, we'll never know if it was worth it. Because <laughs> it could be polyphemus in that item room, you know? But uh, infamy by itself is a great pickup, so I'm happy to have that and... Uh, Probably, I've said this before, but it's probably the second best possible uh, golden chest item after Fate. There are some times where I'd probably prefer Bob's Brain. So we got the Joker card as well, which is very, very nice. And um, we'll be using that Joker card on the first floor where we don't get a deal with the Devil, which is probably, like, statistically going to be this floor. Which is fine. We got the HP for it. Why not? If we get a second Joker card, no, two of diamonds, we'll pop that right away. We'll take Liberty Cap. Um, let's just put Card Against Humanity out in case I'm stupid enough to accidentally hit the Q key. Emperor card, Emperor beats uh, Card Against Humanity for sure, I think. Why not at least use Card Against Humanity and see if you get any money from it? Well, because life's short, man. And I don't want to shoot 80 poops with like a 10% chance on each poop to get one penny. I, I ran the math. That's like eight cents. I'm not that interested. We got 28 already. It's enough, you know? You guys gotta excuse yourselves from the rat race temporarily. Yeah, check that out. Up to 56 already. More bombs. That's okay. This is the moment of truth right here. Let's sneak through these rooms without taking a substantial amount of damage and we'll be fine. Ideal uh, double header here. Hollow followed by the husk. I like the luck upgrade, the HP, hopefully we'll be able to trade it away. Oh my god. Sometimes dreams do come true. Okay. Try this, like, right there. It worked. We gotta deal with the angel. Not a huge surprise, but it does allow us to... Oh my god, it's so bad. It does allow us to get Dad's key as well. So Dad's key, apparently, or the, the key pieces, I should say, count as deal with the angel precedent. People have told me there's no deal with the Angel Precedent, and then other people told me that's actually incorrect. There is a deal with the Angel Precedent, and the deal with the Angel Precedent is the key pieces. Each key piece gives you, like, it, no matter which one you get, individually they give you deal with the Angel Precedent. Infamy just saved me a little bit there. I don't really want to use all of my bombs to do this, but, uh... It is what it is, you know? I'm not... Don't take this as a guarantee that we're going to fight Mega Satan, by the way. Instead, take this as a guarantee that we're on a deal with the angel and I had bombs, so we're going to we're gonna do the most fun thing we can do on a deal with the angel with bombs. Even though we don't have a D6, we'll fight our angel statues. And the chance to fight Mega Satan exists. As you can see, I would very much like to improve our damage a little bit. And you know what? We got a key for that to begin with, so I'm very happy about that. We're actually going surprisingly quickly, considering that my damage is not that superb. It's not to say it's bad, because it's not. It's just not that good. Depends on our Liberty Cap uh, effect as well. Nothing there. So we got a little bit of backtracking to do, guaranteed, until we get uh, our next item room. People might say, you know, why did you... Uh, 
go for a deal with the angel president if you want to become guppy. Well, there's a couple of reasons. One is that guppy shows up all the time. I think we can afford to give up one guppy room to have a deal with the angel room, which is interesting and uh, certainly a lot rarer. I got pretty lucky to not take damage there, I'll be the first to admit. Um, the other one is that we can also still become guppy via curse rooms and boss trap rooms and just random red chests. It's a lot less likely to be sure, but uh, certainly not out of the question. Another key. And another dead end, fortunately or unfortunately, I'm not totally sure yet. Let's try to kill these guys from afar. Nah, didn't really work. I was hoping to keep a little bit of a spider army here. My ideal shop item is actually the 9-volt right now. If we can get Guppy's head, I mean, it's not my favorite shop item, but it would be good. If we can get uh, the 9-volt plus Guppy's head, it turns it into a, like, continuously charging item, which would be sweet. To be able to spawn more than just the mere, you know, bare minimum three flies per room. I don't really think we need to go back to that shop to get a Spirit Heart. I can't remember if there was even one for sale. I think there was that we did not buy, because my finances were kind of low at the time. Um, I can't believe I came all this way for Sister Maggie. But anyway, uh, I don't think we need to because we have the Joker card anyway. It would be nice to get it. But I'm not that concerned about it. We might as well use our Joker card. <laughs> I was going to say we might as well use our Joker card here. But uh, apparently that's not going to be that worthwhile. Alright, more bombs. More flies. We got Chariot. We got Joker. Nah. We got Emperor. We got Joker. And we will walk this way to get ourselves out of here. Um, I'll, I'll look for some other shit here. There's a chance. There's a chance. Second Emperor card. I don't know why I picked up the other Emperor card before the end. There's not much reason to do this either way. Um, I mean, we could Emperor card to the boss, and then we have another Emperor card, but we'd have to walk back for the other Emperor card, so what's the point? We're gonna be about a minute and a half slower than we'd like to be here, which is totally fine. Like, we can, we can live with that. We're just not going to be able to get the boss rush, which is okay as well. And I'm actually kind of tempted to pop this Emperor card right away. I can't believe we got Curse of the Lost again. So I'm going to pop the Emperor card right away. What's my reasoning? Perhaps fallaciously, I've decided to do this to lower my chances of taking Spirit Heart damage and thus maximize my chances of getting a deal with the Devil or Angel, I guess, to start with here. Is it a good decision? Time will tell. Uh... I think we've got an okay chance of getting a deal with the Angel. And we're not going to take Red Heart damage. War is, is pretty easily countered by a Juicy Sack, apparently. We're going to get a Cube of Meat or a Ball of Bandages, neither of which extremely important. But hey, there's our deal with the Angel. Which again, I, I really can't stress enough how happy I am that uh, we continue to get literally zero items from deals with the Devil and deals with the Angel. Extremely important, you know, to... Start off on the right foot by getting absolutely zero help. Who needs help, man? Help is for pussies. We don't need help. We'll just go fight Mega Satan with fucking vanilla damage. What do I care? Alright. This guy is actually going down a little easier than the other one, which is... Good news for me, I suppose. Yeah, that was very uh, fitting damage, I guess, to take at that moment in time. And there you go, there's our full key piece. Now we can go back to Deals with the Devil, if you don't mind, game, please. Please. And now we got room for another card as well, which was admittedly like another reason for, for doing this. Yeah, there you go. Just take them out so they can't jump, and then our life becomes a lot easier there. This is one that I didn't think it would be, but... Um, oh, that was extremely dumb of me. There's actually like a lot of... A lot of scraping that's going on here, you know? We had a really good start, but all of our momentum has been killed by shitty Deals with the Angel. Ooh, and deals with the devil. Um, that's okay, we're not in a bad position, and that's a testament to how well we started here, but... Definitely, we're, we're now a little bit at the mercy of the game, as opposed to the game being at the mercy of us like it was uh, to start with here. And I... Honestly, I, I can't take much of the credit for that fault. Like, this is mostly just bad RNG, or it's suboptimal RNG, at least. Let's focus on the positive here. We had a bad run last run, and we still won. Uh, it, it, we be basically just became unkillable. Maybe that could happen again. We got starter deck, which is great. We got this Joker card, uh, which I doubt is going to be that useful. But we really only need one or two good deals with the Angel to really make me feel better about this run. Alright, so up is the boss. Let's remember that. Up from the spawn room. Up and left. That's, that's doable. 
I can't believe we've had Curse of the Lost, I think, on literally every floor now. Maybe we avoided it on the first floor, I can't remember. I don't know, I don't think we did. Full on Curse of the Lost can suck my balls for real. Die of fart poisoning and no one will come to your funeral. At this point, I just want, like, a, give me Curse of the Blind just for some variety. I forgot what the map looks like. Hate this room. I It might seem like I'm being super cynical in this run, but for real, except for our start, we've kind of been shat on. That being said, our start has given us a chance at victory here, and we've been extremely lucky, I think, to be getting uh, deals with the devil on every single uh, opportunity that's available to us. Like, that that's something I wouldn't have expected to happen. But it is happening. And this is a testament to how uh, how underpowered I feel that we are right now. I'm trying to get super close to this enemy just so our cube of meat, ball of bandages, whatever, has a, a better chance to deal damage. But we're going to get through this without taking damage probably. It just took a long time to happen. Let's check out our curse room. Please, if there's a benevolent force in the universe, give me a damage upgrade or just another guppy item of some sort. Give me hope. All we ask for is hope. Oh, the sun. I'll use it for the full health and then just take this with me. Two of clubs. I probably should have saved the sun card, but I really, I was, I was romanticized. I was romanticizing the idea that that other card would be like a, a second joker card or something like that. That's my bad. You know what? I think we'll get rid of uh, Liberty Cap to take Burnt Penny. We could use the bombs. And in addition to that, Liberty Cap has never given us the compass effect. Because It's not its fault, but it's because we're on Curse of the Lost all the time. That's not Liberty Cap's fault, man. I'm not going to rake Liberty Cap over the coals for it. I'm just saying that it hasn't really helped us out that much. It's given us the, you know, occasionally extra speed and stuff like that, but... In a way, so what? So we're still missing item room and shop. Please don't make me fight greed in the shop. Not because I think we're going to die to greed, but because I really need... Like, really, really would like, at least. Need is a strong word. I don't know how to feel about this. Uh, I would really, really like the ability to... to buy something. Many things, perhaps. We have the money necessary to, to pull that off. We're good for it, I promise. I would definitely get rid of uh, Guppy's head for a candle. We need the damage. I can't afford to be too picky here. I would get rid of Guppy's head for Krampus' head, man. That was a really easy Super Envy fight. Where the fuck is our deal? Or not our deal, but where the hell is, uh... Where the F is, uh... I know I'm... I'm thinking that I'll come back for that two of clubs. I probably won't. But I'm... In my brain, that's my best intention. Okay, we haven't been here yet. This has got to be our item room shop corridor. I would be amazed if it were not. I would be amazed if it were not. Ah, okay, not good damage. A little bit better. You know what? Let's just fucking pop the Empress card here, baby. Good use of it. Uh, Awas rune. Black market? Black market? No black market. Don't really know what I'm expecting to get here, but I guess if we already got money, I'm happy to get the HP upgrade pretty early. At the very least, that uh, Awas rune saves us some backtracking there. Last two floors, extremely, prohibitively long, man. From a boss rush standpoint, at least. Good stuff. And every floor just feels a little bit longer with Curse of the Lost, doesn't it? We've gotta, now we've gotta have, like, item room and boss room directly adjacent to one another, basically. Or at least close. So happy that we started with spiders and flies. If we didn't, we would be in a really, really bad position right now. Like a potentially terrible situation. How big can this floor possibly be? You better have something. I swear to God, if you have a butter bean esque item, I'm going to be displeased. Where's our shop? Did I miss it? Curse of the Lost. You will not claim another victim here. I promise you that. I will find this shop. Possibly. We should go back for that now. We can get seven bombs. Oh, fuck everything. That's Monstro's Tooth. Okay. Alrighty then. Not losing my mind. 
Definitely not. So we've already been here. So what about up? Is there a way up? Oh, maybe we didn't go up earlier. We did not go up earlier. Okay, so this is everything's in its right place here. Not greed. We gotta get compass. We got the money for it, basically. Judgment, pop it down, baby. Pay out with the map now. Save me some fucking heartache. We'll buy a key. And I don't think we'll donate. This is this doesn't feel like a run where I'm really feeling like I wanna donate. Fanny pack is fine. I know we could go back for seven more bombs. I think I'm just gonna go, man. This floor is really taking it out of me. And we still continue to not improve our damage at all. On the next floor, uh, I'm hoping that we got a chance at a deal with the angel that actually contains some fucking items, man. Hey, we got Curse of the... We can see the map! I don't even care that it's Curse of the Blind. We can see the map. I know where the hell I'm going and don't feel just adrift here. Man, a short trip turns into a long trip if you don't know where you're going. That's always been my philosophy on it. Alright, so fanny pack. Pay out with all the consumables in the world here. Give me a chance to get into the boss trap room. Lots of bombs from uh, Burnt Penny here. And hopefully we also don't just die in the process. And we got blood bag, man. Oh, I shouldn't have picked it up yet. That's alright. That's alright. All things considered, we still got a lot of bombs there. Decent amount of money. I'm happy. This is fine. I think that's true, man. A short trip turns into a long trip if you don't know where the hell you're going. That's the way I've always felt about it. It's like the first time you like take a walk to, to work or to school or something like that, you're like, man, this is a long trip. This is like a long walk. And the second time, you're like, oh, now that I know where I'm going, like I know the I know the beats here. It's almost like listening to a song. First time you listen to like a seven minute long song, you're like, this is this is a long song. Next time you listen to it, you're like, I know what's going on here. It's not that long. I don't know. Here comes the. That's uh, obviously. I exclusively listen to Phil Collins, my bald brother. He's, we're not actually related. I mean, not genetically, at least, but spiritually, yeah. Um. Temperance. Yeah, man. Let's redeem ourselves here. This worked out very well for us last time. I would like to have the same thing happen again. Fanny pack. Yeah, man. Fanny pack paying out with those red hearts. I appreciate it. Spirit hearts, perhaps even more valuable, to be honest with you. Watch out for those troll bombs, though. Yeah, you blew up. Oh, shit. I picked up too much, and then I blew up the fucking blood bank with the body. I didn't blow it up. The troll bomb blew it up, but I was present for it. So I'm not thrilled about that, but that's okay. We're still good here. Maybe it's a blessing in disguise that I keep screwing myself out of getting to the boss trap room. Probably not, though. Um, best friend, terrible item. Just absolutely god-awful, continuing the kind of trend of uh, not really being overly pleased with the items we're getting here. That was a great bomb. Dry baby? Ghost baby? Uh, it, it's something. Second Joker card. Do I want two Jokers or a Joker and an Emperor? For fun, two Jokers. For balance, a Joker and an Emperor, I think. Okay, let's shoot these motherfuckers here. Clear out this room. I, I love this room, but I hate this room. Yeah, I botched that. That's okay. Just cost us one more bomb. Magician card. And we're finally done with it. We got Ah, there was a fire left! I'm an idiot. Two of spades. Two of spades. Two of hearts. That's still kind of useful. Okay, so we got sun. Let's just use sun. I didn't take an Emperor card with me, so we are going to roll two Jokers. That's fine. Not a Greed Fight, I'm amazed. Deck of cards, let's try it. Magician, get it out of here. And we'll donate our surplus money. Oh, let's see what our Tarot card is first. The Sun. Do, 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 do. Do I want the Sun card or do I want the Joker card? I think I have to take the Sun card, man. Like, two Jokers. Fuck it, let's take two Jokers. Why? Because now we can get a deal, with two deals with the devil that we shouldn't get. One on the one on the chest and one on the uh, cathedral. The sun card is such a, it's a conservative, good, solid play that I'm not going to do. 
And as much as I know there's people out there that are like, Northern Lion's luck, crazy, crazy Northern Lion luck. Why does this Northern Lion guy always get all the luck? I don't get luck like that. I, I religiously track all of my runs in an Express, Excel spreadsheet, and I, uh, I've never gotten luck that good. It's totally not just confirmation bias based on the fact that this motherfucker has like a law of large numbers things going on with the uh, amount of videos he records. But you gotta admit that on this run, our RNG has failed us a little bit. Unless you, you so seriously believe that getting a half decent, well not half decent, getting a good Eden start, but not a necessarily amazing Eden start, but a good Eden start compromises it completely. I disagree with that. Steam sale is basically worthless for us. Um, what do I feel like my chances are on this run? In spite of all my bitching, I feel like the chances are still pretty good. But it's mostly, you know, it hinges on these two cards we got in our pocket, man. And there's a lot of unknowns that happen with relation to them. How many sun cards? I, I guess I shouldn't complain, but how many freaking sun cards can a man get here? I'm happy that it made that room super easy, though. Okay, so again, the, the premise of the Joker cards is very simple. We may be able to use them on the chest in the cathedral, but my biggest concern is mostly just using them on the first floor where we can't get a deal with the devil or deal with the angel, like where one does not show up. So, if we don't get one here, that's fine by me. I'll just use one, but I would rather get one here. Emperor card. Might end up being useful, man. I really want to see if we can get just like more... I guess we don't need black cards. Let's just go. We got Joker Joker. What's your price for flights? Actually, you know what? Fall of bandages, I shit on you a little earlier. I should not have engaged in that uh, defecatory insult. Because you are actually probably my principal damage dealer. After the flies and spiders have exhausted themselves, which happens pretty quickly. Not a very good bit of damage. What are you laughing about, mom? You're dead as hell. No deal with the angel. Okay. We take this. We joker card one. We get two... Oh, fucking of these things. Are you kidding me? I'm amazed. That is like five deals with the devil slash angel now. Four. It's it's literally four. I don't want to exaggerate because it could compromise whether or not people feel I'm being honest about the situation. That's four, none of which have provided a single item. So where's your R, your precious R and Jesus now? Is all I'm trying to say. It's got to be down this way. The boss fight that is, and for our damage, we're still principally relying on Guppy's head plus fucking juicy sack. I'm not very pleased about this. That may surprise you. At least we have the compass now, so we can save a little time on this floor. And it's not all about, you know, being economical with our time. Time is damage at this point, though. Please. I, I can't even focus on how many of you are on the screen right now. We gotta start, you know, break it down into a more manageable size here. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, one's dead. They pop up too fast, man. We gotta, like, sneak up on them Adam Jensen style. Oh, 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 Adam Jensen style. Doesn't really work. Forgive me. Okay. It's gotta be this way. It's bad enough that the deal with the angel has worse items, in my opinion, so many people disagree with that. Not majority, I'd say, but many people nonetheless. It's bad enough that the deal with the angel has worse items than the deal with the devil. To not get any items at all, which can happen on deals with the devil, admittedly, but to not get any items at all is just a slap in the fucking face. Like, work with me a little bit here. Amazingly, this floor is going pretty well, actually. Like a perfect bomb, very pleased with that one. Don't mind using one of our 18 bombs to Sort that shit out, it'll also save us some flies maybe for the next opportunity, but we're already well past it, so we can stop talking about it, I assume. Alright, this is good. Slow him down. We got Gertie Jr. here. Just stay behind the line of the creep. And it should be pretty easy for me to not take damage. 
by not getting, oh, maybe it still counts, but presumably by not getting a deal with the Angel on the last floor, we got a much better chance of getting one on this floor. I don't even know, just give me something useful. If you give me something useful, it's a lot harder for me to complain. If you make me use a Joker card and give me jack shit, which is very much within the realm of possibility, I mean, we're not gonna have problems, it's basically just, you know, life's a bitch and then you die, you know, we gotta, we gotta deal with it. But at the same time, I would, I would really, really appreciate, uh, a little bit of help game. Trying to throw in bombs where appropriate. Almost done, and didn't take a hit. I'm very surprised I normally do on this fight, when I can't fly at least, and we- Oh, we gotta deal with the devil! Not Krampus, please. Oh, thank god, okay. We gotta try Guppy. And we gotta take Book of Belial, and we gotta take Abaddon. Like, I'm very sorry to... Guppy's head, which has been incredible for us. I gotta roll Book of Belial, though, not for any deal with the devil chance, but because it does give me... that damage bonus that I'm gonna need. And we have a pretty good chance to become Guppy now. Oh, this is good, yeah. Um, let's Emperor card right now. My reasoning being, I'm a little lazy. But also, we have this Joker card that we can pop on the Cathedral for a deal with the Devil, I guess, because we have deal with the Devil precedent. So I have a pretty good chance of improving myself a lot on the Cathedral, maybe making the Cathedral easier than the Womb too. But I'll, I'll be straight with you, most of the decision boiled down to I have the Emperor card and don't want to fight these Wall Masters. So maybe I made a suboptimal decision for, for the sake of morale. And you can see, like, even with Book of Belial Abaddon, not good damage on my part. Our damage isn't really where I'd like it to be. It's not bad, but it's not where I'd like it to be. Now, we probably should have farmed that floor. There was a curse room. There was a boss trap room, I think. Oh, there was, but it had a golden chest. And there's our Krampus fight. Just in time to crush our dreams. This is okay, though. Lump of coal. Lump of coal. Lumpo coal. Ah, that's not a very smart bit of damage there. I'm actually, I'm very concerned. Our HP is not in a good place. I'm gonna try up first. We've really, really gotta not take damage. It would be very unfortunate if our long-awaited deals with the devil ended up actually killing us. Not killing us, but contributing to our deaths in a way that I would not have anticipated. But as you can see, like when our shots land, they're doing a lot of damage, man. Yeah, they're they're taking out enemies pretty damn quickly. All we gotta do, at least live to the chest. There's no curse room on this floor. At least live to the chest. Not a red chest, so I'm not gonna sweat that one. Easy room, easy life. The Isaac fight now becomes of critical importance. This is fine. You can get him before he does it again. Spider! Spider, get in there, buddy. We'll get him in his feet zone here. Yeah. Okay. Spirit hearts. Oh, I'll take it. I'll take it just in case we get a ton of golden chests. I doubt it, but it's possible. All right. We're getting into big moments here. I've bled off a little bit of stupid uh, damage. Not pleased about. Please stop firing so quickly so that I can actually get in there and uh, do a little bit of damage myself. Much appreciated. Throw in the occasional bomb. Knock that one completely off the fucking mark. That one's not gonna land either, I think. Watch out for the cricket's body shots. That one almost got me. Man, why am I... Hitting like every single shot off center here. I guess I'm not, you know, bang on with it. That's a little better. But I think we're better off just using our, our tears to do damage here. This is gonna be a very close one. Uh, this this could be a loss, and I mean that sincerely. Our damage is acceptable, but it, it really comes down to our HP just not being where I would want it to be. And that's largely my own fault. Weirdly enough, I might have been better off with our earlier situation. Book of Belial's a big help, though. Abaddon is a big help. There's no denying that. 
But we're gonna need some some great play or some really big items on our uh, ooh, on our uh, our chest to make this doable. I think it could be done though. I think it could be done. I think we've won ones that are harder than this. And of course, we could fight Mega Satan. That I'm not really that. I'm very happy about Odd Mushroom. I'm very happy about Virgo. I'm content to have Rainbow Baby. And all things considered, the virus isn't that bad. Considering we um, already have permanent Polaroid invincibility. Oh, I fucked that one up nicely. Uh, I know we have the Mega Satan option. I did it again. Played with your heart, got lost in the game. Ooh, baby, baby. I call bullshit on that hitbox there. I gotta farm this shit up for extra... Extra everything, basically. I'm not gonna fight Mega Satan until I know I can beat him, because that's just... I'm not gonna, you know, fight two angel statues just to lose, if you know what I mean. Like, I'm not gonna... It's just a bad idea, strategically and for fun purposes, to go through a lot of extra effort just to give yourself a worse chance of winning. I would love to fight Mega Satan, but it's gonna have to fit, you know... It's gonna have to be a realistic chance of us winning. There's no... There's no reason for me to use Book of Belial on that room because I didn't expect to take damage. I ended up taking damage. Joke's on me. Ball of tar, sticky feet. Life is is getting very dangerous for us right now. I hate... Yep. Yeah, I hate a double gate fight when we are not killing them like instantly because the brimstone shots that they shoot out are just so dangerous. Got it. If you kill one... Yeah, you can be relatively confident that you can live through the other one on the other side of the map. The brimstone shots rarely, rarely make it this far. But the leapers are no joke either, man. See? Like, especially with fear shot, we're actually, like, making the leapers maybe a little bit buffed. Okay, we gotta do some smart shit here. That is not a secret room. Let's try going down. I'm not really looking for the boss fight. I'm just looking for chests, honestly. Now, we do have a, a potential respawn with Guppy's Collar. 50%. I don't want to bet on that. I'd rather just not have to deal with it in the first place. Rosary pickup would be huge. Any HP would be huge. Let's try here. We can't know for sure, but I got to kind of throw out Hail Marys right now. Um, this should be doable. Throw a bomb down. Oh, I fucked it up just by pushing. I know the creep is going to probably get him, but I just wanted to make sure. PhD. Uh, we don't get HP out of that here, I think, but we will get a, a rune. Oh, an Algiz rune is actually, like, really potentially great. We're going to use this at the first. I, I know you want me to use it on Mega Satan. That's actually not that bad of an idea, but I don't think it's going to last the whole Mega Satan fight. I'm going to use it. I'm going to use it right now. And there's something to be said for not doing that, because it, it might be a total waste here. A lot of people will take issue with that, and I think you've got a good reason to take issue with that. But I'm making the super conservative play in the hopes that we get something of great value out of this. And I think we did. That penny is pretty clutch, man. Okay, explode. Explode. We're fighting a losing battle here. We made it! Almost blew up that one in our face. Now we should not have a problem on this room. Come on, a single spirit heart. Or bombs. Or an item. Not what I needed. I guess you're not what I not what I needed. I needed, I needed someone to be. I needed some HP. That's real. We lost on that one. The game beat me down. You got me. I I, I can't really I can't blame that on anything except uh not playing as well as I could have. That one hurts, but, uh... That one hurts. Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed it anyway! If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future, but for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Hopefully with a better run.